Hey, what's up, Life Improvers? This is Justin, ready to get after it on a new challenge. Um, I've been thinking a lot about my body and how it moves and um, watching other people interact with, you know, just the earth around them. And, you know, unfortunately, I sense a lot of people having a lack of mobility. I hear it when they talk to me or when they talk to other people. Every time they reach for something, it's accompanied by, you know, oh, or... Um, unable to do things they used to be able to do at least that's what they say you know when I was younger I could do this or if I you know if my legs didn't hurt I could do this and I think about it there's no reason for that to happen this week is going to be my homemade version of MoveNat. MoveNat does not have an official center in North Carolina so what am I going to do about it I'm going to make my own and today is day one and I'm going to focus on different types of breathing because Breathing is essential to everything else we do. And when we're moving our bodies and running around and jumping and crawling and climbing, you know, we have a tendency to hold our breath, uh, whether we realize it or not. And if we're not holding our breath, we're breathing with our chest and not with our diaphragm where we need to be breathing. So I'm going to do that today. I'm going to focus on some different breathing techniques that I like to do and some that I don't really do that much, but I'm just going to check them out and see how they work. Um, have some fun with it, but it's going to be a great experience and it'll be a great day. I think I'll learn a lot and I'm sure you'll learn a lot as well about the most, you know, essential elements of our life, which is breathing. So to get started, I want us to, when we get into the breathing aspect, I want you to focus on filling up the bottom portion of your lungs. If you look at your lungs as if they were like a, a two liter bottle, you know, we keep all the most of our breathing done up here and we don't take full advantage of you know probably a solid liter and a half of each one so we're going to get into that today with deep breathing exercises and some things we can do to push ourselves to our um you know to our maximum uh capacity and our maximum limit so it's time to get better it's time to improve our lives with operation life improvement today's day one of homemade move nap breathing exercises Come join me. Let's have some fun. Operation Life Improvement, together. All right, Life Improvers. Um, it's time for day one of homemade move nap. So we're going to focus on some breathing techniques today. And the first thing we're going to do is make sure that everything is as clear as possible in our systems to breathe. So one thing that I have that I encourage you to have if you don't already is... A neti pot. I already have some water poured in it. It's got a nice little line on there. Let's say it comes out at eight ounces or uh, 20, uh, excuse me, 240 milliliters if you're into that type of thing. Get you some nice little uh, saline packet that you can buy at your local drugstore. And you're going to take it and dump it right in. All I do is Put the lid on, cover up the hole in my thumb, shake it around a little bit, make it nice and stirred up, not too much, not too crazy, and then it's time to go to work. If you don't know how to use this, you're just going to tilt your head to the side and put this in to the end of one of your nostrils and let the water pour up into your nostril, up in your sinuses, and it's going to come down and out the other nostril. Um, I don't know the technique to tell you to do. I've heard a couple different things, kind of look at 10 o'clock or two o'clock. Uh, some people open up their mouths. I've, I've found out that works for me sometime. It just kind of is a day-to-day -day type of thing. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna clear out our sinuses. Let's have some fun with the neti pot. Okay, time to clear them out. That's good stuff. Yup, gotta get your nose right. Okay, so once you get all that taken care of, you'll be good to go. Blow your nose, kinda get everything out, and you're feeling good. You might say, man, I can't believe he did a netty pot on camera. 
Man, this is Operation Life Improvement. How in the world do you think we're going to get better if we don't sit here and hold each other accountable? So heck yeah, I did the neti pot on camera. I'm going to do a whole lot of crazy stuff on the camera. Just get ready. It's time to get better. On to step two, next breathing exercise. Okay, the next breathing exercise we're going to focus on is diaphragmatic breathing, which is known as baby breathing. Basically, you want to inhale past just the top of your lungs. You want to inhale deeply and feel your belly go up. And when you exhale, you want to feel all the air come out of your lungs. Um, you really want to fill up the bottom and then let it rise to the top. And when you exhale, you start here and you feel the whole thing exhale. I'm going to do that about 10 times. And um, at the end, I'm going to have all my air exhale out of my lungs. And so my stomach ideally will be sucked way in. And I'm going to like flex it up and down a couple times to really move my diaphragm. And um, it helps with digestion. It helps with just having that, you know, control of your diaphragm. And it helps you kind of reintroduce yourself to your diaphragm and its, it's uh, benefits for your breath. So let's give it a shot. Here we go. Lay back comfortably. And one thing that's good to do is you can put your hand on your stomach and keep your hand on your other hand on your chest. So this hand needs to stay still, your chest hand, and your stomach hand needs to rise up and rise down. Alright, I'm going to do one more, and I'm going to, uh, maybe you can see with my stomach, what I mean, when I, how it should look when you suck all the way in. So, here we go. On the inhale, you should rise up. And on the exhale, go all the way out. Then flex it. There you have it. That's one round, diaphragmatic breathing. Remember, inhale all the way, let your stomach fill up, or your diaphragm, really the bottom of your lungs. Exhale all the way, get all the air out. And then once you get to 10 times and you're, you've exhaled and your um, stomach is sucked all the way in, then just kind of, you know, uh, make it pulsate and you can just kind of play around with it and have some fun. Try to fill your ribs. Um, just, I don't know, introduce yourself or reintroduce yourself to your diaphragm. Diaphragmatic breathing, great way to get your breath work right. You should do it every day. All right, on to number three coming up. Okay, third exercise we're going to do today is Russian breathing ladders. Um, the one I'm going to do today is uh, I'm going to inhale for one step and exhale for one step. Inhale for two steps, exhale for two steps, inhale for three steps, exhale for three steps, and do it in a pyramid. See how high up you can go um, and then go back down to one. Uh, so. It's a great way to work on your breath. You can do it walking or jogging. I'm going to do it as I walk today and have a little fun with it. All right, let's get after it.
All right, so I just went up to 10. Uh, for time's sake, I'll do the rest without the video, but I'm gonna work my way back down from 10 to one. Have some fun with it. Do at least one to 10 and back down and see eventually how high you can go. That's something you can do multiple times a day as you walk somewhere, and just work on your breath. Have a good day. Get better. Operation Life Improvement. Let's do it together. Get your breath right. All right, the last thing that we're going to look at today is nasal breathing. We're going to inhale for 10 seconds and hold it, and we're going to exhale for 10 seconds. However, we're going to do it one nostril at a time. So I'm going to plug my right nostril. I'm going to inhale for 10 seconds in my left nostril. Plug both nostrils, hold it for 10 seconds, and exhale through my right nostril. Then I'll do it in the reverse way. All right, here we go. And that's one repetition. I would do three to five uh, just to you know, focus on your nasal breathing. And it's really good. One thing to really you know, be conscious of is don't inhale too big right to start and definitely don't exhale too much right when you begin exhaling because you want the exhale to last for the full 10 seconds. Um, on the inhale, the same thing. But you just play around with it. You'll get better at it as we go along. And just like everything else, that's what it's all about, getting better. If you were an expert on your first uh, try, well, I guess you'd be at the end of your life because, in my opinion, we're never experts. Back to the first video, constant ascension all the way up to the last day we're here. So, Operation Life Improvement. Let's get better together. Now, go have a great day of breathing.